Klaus, uh, you have uh, how much gliders you have? Three or four? Uh, we have actually uh, three gliders. We have a double seater, a Stemme S10. Uh, we have uh, I have my Antares, an electric mm -hmm. uh, glider, and uh, a DG400, uh, which is a self-launching uh, mm -hmm. glider, uh, relatively old but very very efficient actually mm -hmm. still. And how much in the year is um, money for, 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 for you, you have three gliders, how, how much you pay for them? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's very difficult to say because uh, at first it depends uh, how much work do you do yourself. For example, all the, the painter, all the, the to, to clean the glider like that, that you can do yourself. If you go to a, to a professional guy, of course, yeah. it's much more expensive. Uh, so you have to calculate it. You have to calculate uh, the, the insurance which is really a mal a lot uh, concerning the, the, the third party insurance. If you want to uh, uh, insure the glider for a total loss, it, of course it depends on the price of the glider. So you have a wide range of prices between uh, the, the, to buy a glider. So you, nowadays you can even spend uh, 350,000 euros uh, to, to buy a new STEMI glider, S12 or uh, so 280,000 so for a, for a modern glider uh, they are very good but they are quite expensive but on the other hand you can buy a, an old glider for 3000 euro or 5 6 7 8000 under 10000 euro and uh, there of course you have much less uh, loss of money so uh, spending money essentially is uh, for insurance of total loss and uh, of course if you have a hangar you have to pay a place for a hangar let's say that it's uh, probably 1500 euros a year if you have uh, the, the mounted glider uh, and uh, so uh, the the essential money you will spend is to buy the glider and then it's really not very expensive because uh, when you have a pure glider so you have nearly no maintenance because if you have a motor of course you have much more maintenance so the costs uh, let's say for very verification one time a year uh, that could be around let's say 500 euros something and uh, so of course you buy something the, the problem with all these costs is that uh, a passionate pilot never calculates really. <laughs> but uh, but so you have really a very very wide range if you go professional maintenance of course you can spend 10,000 euro a year uh, if you can do a lot of things of yourself uh, or you have a cheap uh, cheap guy who can do it uh, so one of the problems of registered aircraft is that you need always somebody to sign the paper mm -hmm. and this is you can do a lot of your if you are engineer for example you can do a lot of work but you have not the right to do it so and usually that's uh, that is done with a person who has the right to sign together with him and he makes you confidence you make this work he look at the work and then he he he, he make uh, he, he signed the paper. Thank you very much. So uh, and I, I understand. You cut it a little bit. So no, 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 no. And uh, you have the best glider with uh, electric motor, Antares, yeah, and yeah. Uh, uh, the price uh, for takeoff is zero. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, what is uh, really wonderful? I'm a, an absolute fan of electric flight. So I, I bought this Antares, which is a really a very very nice ship. Uh, so you can uh, you can start uh, with electric. Uh, you can even have some solar panels to charge the batteries uh, so then you are really uh, zero emission that is what why i bought this glider because uh, i think always so we of course we need an aerotol or we need some fossil fuel uh, and this is just like the dirt under the <laughs> 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 uh, because the whole day long we are flying with renewable energies we have the whole day uh, with wind with thermals with rich shoring possibilities or wave uh, and this is really fantastic and uh, I want to promote gliding uh, and uh, it's beautiful we have this trend now that we have renewable energies and we want to have uh, uh, save our climate and so uh, and this is uh, from my opinion gliding is the best sport to represent uh, these new trends.
because we do it the whole day long, changing the energy from one in the others and using the whole day long the atmosphere, spheric forces of wind and sunshine. Thank you very much, Klaus. <laughs> <laughs> we will fly. Yeah. <laughs> I make, I make the, uh, I show it to how it does this. So this is just a very simple principle. You have mm -hmm. a lever here. So this is the system now. It's coming out. Вот такая штука. So uh, you have this 40 kilowatt, uh, it's, a, it's an official electric motor for an aircraft, one of the first, or not even the first, which was uh, registered officially and uh, used officially. And so you have a two meter propeller, uh, so you saw that uh, all the propeller and motor systems disappears inside of the uh, fuselage. And that will say you have a very, very good uh, Glider. So this glider has a gliding ratio of 56. Uh, so and especially it is very very good in high speed. That's uh, what I I really like when we are flying with strong winds in wave flights. Then pushing forwards and flying with 200 230 kilometers per hour. So that is really absolutely great. And so this uh, really system. I don't want to to take the motor inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. It's, it's...